President Biden hosts dozens of African leaders at the White House today. And authorities say the storm thrashing the central U.S. spawned a tornado in Louisiana that's killed two people. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. President Biden is hosting dozens of African leaders at the White House today. It is the second day of the U.S.-Africa summit. NPR's Deepa Shivaram reports one major topic includes several presidential elections that will happen next year in Africa. Countries such as Liberia, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Sierra Leone, and Democratic Republic of the Congo will have presidential elections next year. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters this week that the administration wants to do everything it can to support, quote, free, fair, and credible elections. Biden will also give remarks at the U.S.-Africa Business Forum in downtown D.C., where leadership from more than 300 companies from the U.S. and Africa will convene. Later in the evening at the White House, African leaders and their spouses will be invited for dinner hosted by the president and the first lady. Deepa Shivaram, NPR News, the White House. Congressional negotiators have indicated they're close to a new spending deal to fund the federal government. Lawmakers need to pass a bill by the end of this week or the government will partially shut down. The House is expected to vote on a short-term spending bill today to help give negotiators more time to finish their work. The powerful storm thrashing the central U.S. has turned deadly in Louisiana. Authorities in Caddo Parish near Shreveport say a tornado has killed a woman and her young son. The Caddo Parish Sheriff Steve Prater says the tornado was so powerful it wiped some homes off their pads. The few houses that are in there, uh, totally destroyed, uh, gone. You just have to look for bits and pieces out in the woods of even the houses. The same storm is responsible for blizzard conditions farther north. Parts of Nebraska, Wyoming, and South Dakota could get about two feet of snow. Policymakers for the Federal Reserve conclude their two-day meeting in Washington today. They're widely expected to increase short-term interest rates by one-half of one percent. That would be less than recent rate increases. The Fed is trying to bring down soaring inflation, The Labor Department reported yesterday consumer prices in November were a little more than 7 percent higher than a year ago. The government says long COVID is responsible for more than 3,000 deaths in the U.S. NPR's Rob Stein reports. The National Center for Health Statistics scoured death certificates for any mention of long COVID and found more than 3,500 deaths that doctors specifically blamed on the condition. That includes deaths from heart attacks and strokes that doctors said were caused by chronic complications of COVID-19. However, the researchers and others say the estimate is likely a significant undercount of the true number of deaths from long COVID, which is still poorly understood and defined. And deaths from long COVID are likely to continue to rise as more people continue to get COVID. NPR's Rob Stein reporting. This is NPR.